The following video has been rated PG-13 for, eh, it's pretty good, if you're 13. It's boring! Starting today from a place I've never really been to before. It's the RP Funding Arena or Convention Center or Center. It's Lakeland. And uh, today's video starts just inside. Right off the bat, finding something somewhat unusual. I mean, it's Orlando, or close to Orlando, so it's only so unusual you can get for this area. And here is what we have for today. This is the Central Florida Comic Con. This is in Lakeland. Kind of get an idea just how big this is. As you scroll up, you kind of see all the different exhibitors and artists, the cosplayers, the comic books, and the celebrities. Join us today as we do just a little sport. folks proof that they'll let anybody in here so really this is like a practice for for dragon con of, of sorts it's like a small one-day dragon con right? it's two days. It's today, and tomorrow. today and tomorrow so here's the question the carpet is, is somewhat disappointing comparatively this, isn't this is no this is more like the holiday we got uh, Adam and Greg they're they're preparing their their blue bands Return a Saturday only. With all the cool kids call it. CFCC. Which, which means? Central Florida Comic Con. Ooh, and wait a minute, hold on. It is the Village People's 40th anniversary tour. Uh, let's see. Uh, I don't see the sailor guy. When was it? Why, why is this a thing? It's almost Okay, I take it back. Why is this a thing? This is kind of cool. I don't think I've seen this before. Got an advertisement up here for MurderCon, which seems a, a little strong. Got a, a vendor going here, but he's also Wolverine at the same time. Kind of like the costume. I feel like you've already got the mutton chops thing going down there. Your game is on points. Oh, look at that. <laughs> That's a daily right there. And look, he also is selling some Nintendo Switches. He, oh, Nintendo Switch, okay. No pun intended. No pun at all. I, I would be disappointed if there was no pun intended. Possibly my favorite name for a store ever. It is, who gives a craft? I, okay, it's, uh, apparently it's gonna be one of those types of conventions. Very cool stuff you got here. Darkwing Duck, huh? <laughs> Love it, sir. You can't go wrong. So uh, this is uh, Michael McElroy Studios. If, if you want to get your own Darkwing Duck, there is a website for you right there. And really, don't we all want to get our own Darkwing Duck? The answer, of course, is yes. We have ties here. Greg, you've already got this tie, I'm assuming. How are you? You got some great and ties. Sell, and you sell everything that we make is handmade and all the pillows turn. Ah. Pillow blankets. Yes, what pillow do you call your pillow blankets? Is pillow there a, blankets. Uh, a little on the nose, but yes. that's okay. I yes, like it. Yes, yes, we can't call them pillows. They are. That's a trademark. I love it, and, and then I like this uh, this waffle tie. Oh, there you go. I'm not sure I know what I would call the waffle tie. It is a Stranger Things. It's from oh, Stranger Things. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's a Stranger Things fabric. I absolutely love that. <laughs> where where can people find you guys online? Online, we have an Etsy store, Convention Comfort. This is where we are. Now this is this is really this is where Greg comes in. We've got quite the collection here. I don't think I've ever noticed that there's a petunia pig Lego before. Look, look, look! No. Oh well, actually yes, you're right. Those are. He so, got all. He ended up getting them all. Look at look at all of these. This is this is crazy. Yeah, and they the some of them are new? We have a store in downtown Brick and Mortar store. Brick and mortar store called Brick City Bricks, right? Plant City, Florida, right downtown. Official Stanley licensed apparel right over here. That is very cool stuff. And you have a lot of Smurf stuff. And a Gargamel cutout. This is very cool. Preppy Popeye. Why have I not heard of any of this stuff before? Is this your line? We're fairly new. Um, yeah, we launched in uh, 2019. Um, we're officially licensed, so we work off through all the brand owners. So we get the rights to make all the shirts. Uh, we currently do Stanley, Popeye, and the Smurfs. Uh, they're 
limited edition, so our, our shirts have limited edition labels that show you how many we're making. Wow. We do a lot of quality details, such, such as little Easter eggs. So underneath our monkey logo, we've got a little pop yes. Different things that just kind of really touch the point on the brand and connect with the band. And where can people find you, sir? Uh, Crumpypop.com. Crumpypop.com, which I believe is actually what you have right there. Right next to Gargamel's eyebrows. All right, so what are we dealing with here? All right, well, my name is Marcus Roberts. I am the CEO of Second Sight Publishing. And we have an offering of uh, some of the books that we have published. Our books are distributed through Diamond, and, and they go to the local comic book stores. So anything you grab from me here today, you'll be able to keep up with the series by going to your local comic book store and say, hey, I need to get the order that second site. <laughs> Ask for it by name. Ask for it by name. Uh, we have a couple of titles up here that sold out to the comic book stores. The uh, Duplicate, the Freak Show Night. This is probably the only place in the state of Florida you'll be able to get these books. Uh, we have titles such as Blood's Calling Crones, in which these books, this, these comics are currently being turned into movies right now. And, and where can the good folks at home uh, find you, sir? Uh, you can find me either on Facebook at the Second Sight Publishing page. Uh, check out our website, secondsightpublishing.com. completely forgot about this. It's a Chawa. Filthy creatures. I can probably abide by them. Yeah. I love it. Thank you. This is what I call parenting right. Lots of Funko Pops going here. Greg just pointed this one out. It's the Kool-Aid Man. I, oh yeah! I feel like I need to throw it through a wall. Wait, wait here, let's let's simulate that. Ready? Craig's about to get oh, thrown yeah. out. <laughs> I might have to get the big boy one here. Wow! Look at these '90s toys. These are out in like I want to say like '90, '91, '92 maybe. My middle school years though. Here we go. I like the name of this store. It's okay stuff because it's okay stuff. I've got this one. Apparently it's worth 50 bucks. Looks like it's a booth full of retro games. Ooh, the Japanese PS2. This is a Game Boy mystery box. I thought it was a real Game Boy, but it's a box and inside there is a, it's a mystery. Maybe it's a cereal now. <laughs> oh, you know what? Nintendo. It's a breakfast cereal. It's a breakfast now. It's a breakfast now? <laughs> yeah. Nintendo. It's a cereal. Wow. Is that what it, how it goes? It was. Drawing a blank on that. Got the Super Famicom. This is incredible. I don't know if they'll plug into any of our TVs, but it's still it pretty cool. all Japanese imports. The, the games and the consoles. It's all being clean, tested, and we guarantee it. So these, cool. you plug these in, you've got yourself oh, many yeah. afternoons of fun. Uh, oh, absolutely. Oh, hello absolutely. There. Oh, cool. It's Dennis Quaid. No, wait, Randy Quaid. Randy Quaid. Wrong. You're wrong. You're mistaken on that. Yeah. Freeze-dried Skittles? I, I feel like I have to. Would you mind? I mean, right here. This is the price of admission right here. Alright, we're gonna try it. It is a freeze-dried Skittle. Freeze? Freeze-dried Skittle right here. Sorry, I've been you know, in your way. Where have you been all my life? Yeah, there you go. Right next to you. And right here. Oh, thanks, sweetie. T-shirts, one for ten, three for twenty-five. I feel like I might actually be making some purchases over here. So we're, we're going with this one today. And one of these ones. Man, right here, he's cosplaying as Winston. How's it going? Winston? Spangler. 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 Well, I mean, you know, you look so much like him, I just thought that. You know. This right here, this is what it's all about. Did it need <laughs> The what now? That we didn't know we needed it. Oh, there we go. There. Dang, look at that. 
Well, you've heard of binders full of women. This is cases full of plastic. I'm not sure I'm allowed to make that joke, but I'm impressed nonetheless, folks. Inappropriate! Well, this is an interesting one. It is the Primo Cardinale. Wait a minute. Bucky O'Hare figures? Wow. That's... That's interesting. That is incredible, folks. The Red Hood. Some days you just can't get rid of a bomb. Look at that giant space chicken. I did not know this existed, but you can buy Darth Vader's meditation chamber here. Look at that. He's, uh, he's sitting in a position that makes me feel awkward and meditating. That's a master chef, I, I guess, and that's Eminem. And uh, I'm not sure who that is. All right, we finished off the, the first room. We're gonna go to the second room. I don't think there's as much here, but I do see more like cosplay stuff. So, uh, so hey, there's four rivers at least, and we got that going for us. We're looking at the thing. Look at this. The, the doors slide open. The doors slide. Beaker is, is floating into space to his eventual demise, and and there's uh, Doctor Strange Pork just kind of staring at me with his his dead beady eyes. I'm so happy by that too, which is just, honestly, it's unnerving to me as well. Look at this. This is incredible. These are foil figures. We've got uh, Iron Man, we've got uh, the Goblin, and we've got uh, Doc Ock. A and you make these all yourself? I win some shots the toy man. Wow, it's like he touches something and then it just turns to glittery goodness. God bless you, sir. I think there's a little bit of a, a panel type thing going on here. It's uh, socially distanced or just not very popular. Look at that, the action set. This was like gold when I was in the fourth grade. Uh, I didn't have this one. I had the one that had the, the little running mat that looked like Twister and never worked. Here's an even less popular one. Ooh, there's a Borg here. And I'm not sure what this thing next to it is, but the Borg is cool looking. We've got Union Jack over here. We've got uh, the Winter Soldier. And we've got Taskmaster. This is this is Union Jack, is it not? So everybody loves when a vlogger shows their food, right? So uh, here we got uh, we got pulled pork directly from the Four Rivers kiosk. Uh, I believe Adam is working on some. Uh, what are, I'm sorry. What are what are we working you with here? What are we dealing, we dealing with? What are we dealing with here? Those are pulled pork nachos, which I'm kind of like. I kind of wish I would have got something else, but what's done is done. What's done is done, and, and Greg is going with the all-American chicken fingers and fries. A, a healthful repast for everyone. That is like the second largest hammer I've seen today. I uh, see, I've been wondering where I can get myself a Sigmund Freud action figure to go with the Carl Jung one that I've got. I don't see the Carl Jung one. And this one's vintage too, you can tell by the yellowing plastic right here. <laughs> it's, it's been hanging there for the last been 40 there for years. A while. It's like a thin rip torn. Alright. This one really impresses me. This is the Clark Kent Press Pass. Christopher Reeve. Multiple George Costanza cards because he's had multiple jobs, of course. It's West Virginia Jones. Look at Super Grover. Oh, so good. Well, with that being said, I believe we have just about seen, Lynx, about all that we're going to see today. And it might just be time to take this show on the road. With that, folks, we bid you adieu for Adam the Woo, Greg from Greg's Game Room and Adventures by George. And of course, I am your host, Splorn. We will see you next time when we do just a little sport.